What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kangaroo Black once again. Coming to talk about the uh, Texas A&M uh, recruiting class for this year. And I'll get to it right after this. Okay, everybody, way back. So, like I said, I'm gonna just talk about the Texas A&M recruiting class this year. Uh, they got the number one recruiting class in the nation this year, and they all up in arms about it. But uh, hey, you can have as many five stars, four stars, six or seven stars if they got them. You can have all you want. But the truth of the matter is, Texas A&M is no threat to nobody. I know they beat Alabama this year, but what else have they done? You're not going to the playoff, Texas A&M. You didn't make the SEC championship, Texas A&M. You didn't win the SEC West. All you did was beat Alabama, and I said it when you did it. Your season is done. Jimbo Fisher did what he wanted to do. He won his Super Bowl when he beat Nick Saban. So, and even that was for nothing. All he can do is say, I'm the one assistant that beat Nick Saban. Okay? That's all you done did. So, all you Texas A&M fans that's hooping and hollering about all your recruits and just so happy that you got the number one recruiting class. You can get them, get all you want, all the five stars, four stars, three stars you want. But you don't have the coaching staff to lead all those five and four stars to an SEC championship or a national championship, okay? You won't go to the playoff within the next three or four years. So you got you got the number one recruiting class, and that's all you got because y'all ain't going to do nothing with them. And the reason why all these four stars and five stars coming to Texas A&M because they want to play right off the bat. They know they can't come to an Alabama. They can't go to a Georgia. They, they, they can't go to those schools and get right on the field unless they something special. And I doubt if they that, if they don't go into Texas A&M. But they going to Texas A&M because they want to play immediately. Okay. Yeah, they are talented, but it takes more than talent to win. So, Alabama, I guarantee you, they will get their revenge on Texas A&M next season. And I guarantee you, all these five and four stars y'all got in this recruiting class, you'll still lose four or five games next season, Texas A&M. Okay? So, there's nothing to be all up in arms about. They ain't even hit the field yet. It's a difference between college and high school. You can be a five-star, four-star coming out of college and get to college and be trash. And you can be a, a, a three-star and get to college and be awesome. So all these stars y'all got coming out of high school, it don't mean nothing. Okay? Yep. Yep. Alabama got a pretty good recruiting class, too. We came in at number two. And yeah, we got some talented players. But we ain't finna be jumping around, hollering about, woo, 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 yeah, we got this. We got the number two ranked recruiting class. We, got, we ain't finna do that. Alabama done had the number one ranked recruiting class several years, for several years. Did you ever see us jumping around, hollering? No, you haven't. You got to wait till they hit the field. Because if you a five-star and you ain't producing on the field, it's all for nothing. Matter of fact, you can be a five-star, four-star. You ain't finna come to Alabama and just play right off the bat. Like I said, unless you something special. Okay? Like a Mika Fitzpatrick. Like a, a, a Maury Cooper. Okay? You just, you just ain't going to do it. 
like a Jalen Hurts. Texas A&M, I ain't never seen nobody like that for y'all. Even Johnny Manziel, he came in for y'all as a freshman. And he beat Alabama. But after that, what did he do? <laughs> what did he do? All right. So Texas A&M, you fans, just hold your horses. Hold your horses. Don't get too excited. So, because you still got Alabama in the West. Okay? And if Brian Keller do what we all think he can do, you'll have LSU to contend with. All right? And then if if maybe one day you'll get the, the courage to put uh, Georgia on your schedule and you'll have them to deal with. Okay? So, Texas A&M, all this noise y'all making about a recruiting class? Come on, man. I know I know it's probably the first time y'all have had the number one recruiting class probably in school history. And y'all just don't know how to act. It's overwhelming to y'all. But uh, you will soon find out that getting the number one recruiting class, it don't mean nothing. You just got the number one recruiting class, okay? Just, just, <laughs> Georgia had the number one recruiting class last year. Georgia had a lot of success this year. But that don't mean it's going to trickle down to uh, Texas A&M. Texas A&M don't have a Kirby Smart. Texas A&M don't have a Nick Saban. Texas A&M got Jimbo Fisher. And y'all want to hail him as a great coach. Not in the SEC, he won't be. You see what he done did since he did been there? Nothing. He hasn't won nothing. He hasn't won the West. He hasn't won an SEC championship. He hasn't been to the playoff. Matter of fact, Texas A&M ain't won a, a, a SEC championship, ain't even been to the SEC championship game since they been in the SEC. And I don't see him getting there no time soon. I don't give a damn what kind of recruiting class you get. Simply because you in the West. Even if you was in the East, I don't think you 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 uh get to the uh, SEC championship. I believe you of Missouri came the same year. Missouri done been to the SEC championship twice. When is y'all turn? When is y'all going to do that? Texas A&M, since y'all so happy about getting a number one recruiting class. But hey, them guys want to play. So I don't blame them for going to Texas A&M. Because you know you ain't finna come to Alabama and just hop on the field. You know you ain't finna go to Georgia and just hop on the field. You probably won't go to Florida. Well, maybe Florida now, but LSU maybe now, but Back in, in when LSU was LSU and Florida was Florida, you wouldn't have got on the field then either. But you even then, you you could go to Texas A&M as a five and four star and get playing time immediately because your program is just not up to par with the top tier programs in the SEC. Yeah, you will get a fluke win every now and then, just like you did this year against Alabama, just like Johnny Manziel did with Alabama. But uh, it was all for not, for nothing. You get to go and play in a participation bowl. That's what you do. You doing? Cause it ain't the playoffs, so it don't matter. So you you enjoy your participation bowl, Texas A and M, and I promise you, you will be in another participation bowl next year, twenty twenty two. You will be in another participation bowl 2023, 2024. So, it is what it is. So, uh, there you have it, Texas a and Your number one recruiting class ain't going to get you nothing but what you've been getting. Participation bowls, heartache, and disappointment. Roll Tide.